Yes, it is way up at Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Jasmine from the jasminebrand.com is here. Yes. And my girl Melissa Ford is here. You're Melissa Ford. You can watch her, by the way, on the Joe Button podcast. You've been bringing a lot to that, so I appreciate you being on there. Thank you. Holding it down. Holding it down for the women. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I was saying earlier, Melissa and I first met. We both worked at Sirius at the same time. Mm-hmm. A million years ago. And mm-hmm. it was an interesting time because I feel like, and this still happens, and I actually was just talking to my girl Jasmine, um, who was on with D.L. Hughley, mm-hmm. how people always try to like pit women against each other. Like, mm-hmm. oh, there's another woman coming. Y'all not going to get along. It's mm-hmm. only, you know, this person or that person. But we actually got along from the very beginning, Mm -hmm. from when we first met. We were able to bond over all of our different stories of things that we had gone through. Yeah, 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 yeah. (laughs) And one incident, because Melissa and I used to really hang tough. We both Mm -hmm. lived in Brooklyn. Mm Mm-hmm. And we were, and when I say outside, <laughs> we were outside. We were outside. Well, y'all, y'all were outside before outside was called outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were outside when it was just. We were running these New York City streets, <laughs> right? right. <laughs> mm-hmm. But one incident, we did go to a, an event, and mm-hmm. Melissa had interviewed R. Kelly prior mm-hmm. to this event, mm-hmm. and it was like an R. Kelly a launch party, listening party. I don't remember what it was for, an album release. Mm. It was something. It was something, but it was a nice event. It was outdoors. R. Kelly was there, but he was like sitting by himself. Yeah. In some corner. No one was anywhere near him. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And Melissa had just interviewed him. So she saw me, called her over. Okay. And so I was like, let me just mind my business, Uh you know, walk back here. (laughs) Okay. And then I see her over there and he's crying. (laughs) Wait, hold on. And I'm like, what did Melissa say to Hold on, Angela. Tears are coming down his face? Yes. Yes, so he Melissa, was sobbing. Okay. I never really asked you about what happened that night. (laughs) Because I, I'm still, to this day, wondering what was going on like okay. literally he just he just got so emotional he just started crying and i was like is anybody else seeing this what right did you now? say to him and what did he say to you I, n- nothing that warranted tears mm-hmm. right. it was just it was i don't know it just seemed a little performative you were like you did that it, mm. no <laughs> So he but started we were, crying. We were okay. also discussing how there were always rumors about R. Kelly yeah. and these young girls. Because a lot of people would say, well, why didn't somebody do something? Yeah. But I always thought, and you did too, right? Because it was always like the juggle. He liked the young girls. Yeah. With all the charges that came out, all the speculation, social media did a whole lot to, you know, end him up where he is right now, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, that was that didn't exist 20 years ago, you right. know, when he was reported to have married Aaliyah. And mm-hmm. everyone was like, well, how could anybody let that happen? Well... There was a lot of like, you know, confusion as to what her actual birth date was because they were they produced a birth certificate that showed that she was 18 when she was in actuality, like 15 years old. Mm -hmm. And also there was like, well, the parents seem to be okay with this. So nobody knew what the hell what to do. Did the parents give permission? Yeah, it was just a lot. It It wasn't like he did a lot of interviews either. Yeah. Yeah. So you ha- you've been on one of his video in one of his videos before. I was. I was in Happy People. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I like that song. Yeah. yeah. The song was great. Yeah. The song. Do you was still great. listen to it? Uh, no, <laughs> no, no. I I definitely do not. So Melissa, you did to. not make R. Kelly cry, but you try to console him. I. T- it was, was very strange, yeah. and I was like, "What is going on? And why is he crying?" I was, li- I was literally do? like, "They're there, they're there," <laughs> <laughs> just patting his shoulder. Maybe it was tears of joy at that time. I know. Listen, <laughs> Melissa has lived. Yeah, Melissa, you honestly like she knows everybody, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so she said mm-hmm. it was always interesting. Yeah, and people would be like, whenever there was something happening, like, "Yeah, why don't you invite Melissa Ford to see if she'll come out?" Everyone loves Melissa Ford. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> but listen, I also. I also want people to catch up with everything that you've been doing now, too, because I want to make sure while you're up here guest yeah. hosting, you know, you let us know. Yeah, I mean, well, hit me up on Instagram, you know, that's where you're going to find out what I'm doing. But really, honestly, like I just moved here in January you mm-hmm. know, to I've New York. Go- yeah, back to New York. From I, where? I, from L.A. Okay. I've been gone for eight years. Mm-hmm. I swore that my time here in New York was done. <laughs> kind of like a boyfriend that you finally say, all right, <laughs> it's over. That's I'm what done. Chloe Hilliard says. <laughs> she's coming up next. She talks about the difference between New York and L.A. Yeah, you know what? This is how I put it, okay? Whenever people are like, what's the difference? I was like, New York is very hard on your body, but L.A. is very hard on your soul. Mm. That's how that is how I would put the differences be- between living in these cities. New York beats you up a lot. You know, it's it's physical. You know, you're you're 
physically exhausted. But L.A. is a very, very, very lonely. It's su- it's very subtle too. It's it's yeah. The things you experience are subtle, and you look up. You're like, oh my gosh, what am oh, I? Because Jasmine through? lived in L.A. too. Yeah, yeah. No, I used to have a place there. Yeah, yeah. You literally look up one day, and you're like, oh, my soul is eroding. <laughs> um, got it. Okay. And, and to be clear, Melissa is from Toronto. <laughs> from mm-hmm. Toronto, Canada. Yeah. yeah so so, so I, I'm on my third lifetime. I feel She's like a Canadian gal. Yes. Yeah, is that is that the accent? Yeah. We're going? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, listen. I know that you're going to be up here in the future too whenever All the time. you time anytime you need me I'm here to support my girl come up on the show have some fun next time I'll bring some cocktails Thank and you. she's really great at that too <laughs> All right but and I, I just a sponsor. wanted to talk we were talking about this whole R Kelly situation and so that is why I wanted to make sure you got to, because I, when I was reading this story and you were here, I put it all together like, oh, I remember the time. Yeah. And he started crying I, in I my lap. I bet you man. were crying in your lap. <laughs> Basic. I mean, like, I was just like, wait, what's happening here? <laughs> Melissa was R. Kelly's therapist for like, for like five, five or six minutes. So you're responsible. All right. <laughs> All right, I wish well, I could have done better. Melissa Ford is here again, guest hosting. And Chloe Hilliard is coming up next. She's a journalist. She's a comedian. She does talk about the difference between L.A. and New York because mm-hmm. she is actually from Brooklyn, mm-hmm. living in L.A. It's way up with Angela. You guys are going to love this, especially if you watch the Black Lady Sketch Show. 